Hello, this is Ahmed Kayyum. How are you doing? So I was given a task uh, to create a Webflow website. Uh, it's just a landing page. So it's about uh, somehow NFTs and uh, related stuff. So let me show you the design that was being provided to me. Uh, so that was a Figma file. So this is the desktop version. So you can see that that there is some moving text as well. Uh, so this is the desktop version. And this is the responsive version for the mobile phone. So my task was to create this design in Webflow. So there it is. So this is the design that I created. So it's a very good practice. Uh, so it's always recommended to start with a base breakpoint so that this base breakpoint design can be used for the devices with lower dimensions as well as for the higher dimensions. So this is the final design that I created. If I just go to preview, so there you can see that there is a moving text and we have some buttons and navigation bar, columns, grids, grids. Again, I make use of grids. So columns has been used in this inside this section and we have grids again and we have grids again. So there is a small interaction has been added to this FAQ section so that when the user will click so he can see the answer to the question. So if I go to the mobile version, so let us let us go to 360. Okay. So there we have the mobile version. So we have the moving text. We have the header section. And so there you can see the other sections as well. So we need to, maybe we need to refresh the page, maybe. So on mobile, this is how the FAQs will be displayed. So this is how I managed the, the layers. You can see, say that the sections, the containers, the div locks, and all the things that you can see here. And these are all the properties. So we, I have also made use of classes and it's very important to make use of classes and yeah for the interaction let me show you that how the text is moved so let's view inside the interaction so when the page will load so this is how the text will move so it's a very long text you can see here so i just exported this uh, component and used inside the Webflow design. Yeah. So yeah. So this was this was all about from my side. So you can also test the design at using this URL. I'm not sure that uh, on the time you are checking this URL whether it's available or not. But if you check it now, yes, you can test the website. So it's, I'm checking it as at 13 double six dimensions. So you can see the moving text and other content as well. And you can check the structure of different sections as well. So I hope uh, you uh, like the project and you like the task. Let me know if I can help you in your task as well. If you have uh, 
any issues and uh, we need to f we we can fix that together or if you have any idea you have the design or you just have uh, the wireframes the sketches let me know and i can help you in uh, establishing that website in webflow so looking forward to have a healthy conversation thank you so much for your time